Of, uh, students in Dix Hills are rolling up their sleeves at a new vaccination pop-up site. News 12's Virginia Huey has why experts say their age group is the key to reaching herd immunity. Half Hollow Hills High School East transformed its cafeteria into a pop-up vaccination site on this Saturday morning. Suffolk finest serving shots of Pfizer into the arms of Long Islanders ages 16 to 18. It's exciting to get this. For 16-year-old Daniel Cornane of Dix Hills, getting the COVID-19 vaccine means a return to normal life. I feel that it's going to make me be able to do things with my friends again and be free in the world because we're really restricted with the masks and everything. 17-year-old Nicholas Singh got the shot because he wants to play sports. It's not 100%, but I think it makes it more safe especially when you're involved in a bunch of activities. He'll be going to college soon, and he wants to be involved in sports, and I would like him to uh, be protected against the virus. Parents who accompany their children here say it gives them peace of mind. I feel relieved because it's a step closer in getting back to our normal activities and just putting this virus in the past. Medical experts say vaccinating teenagers is a crucial part of conquering the pandemic. Without us getting the appropriate vaccination rates in this population, I am afraid that the virus will continue to propagate. We'll have to deal with potential mutations and there's a possibility we won't be able to eliminate the virus from our society like we all desperately want. Officials say bringing the shots to teens with pop up sites like this will help the nation reach herd immunity. I'm sure by setting up in a school like we are today where students can come to a familiar environment and get vaccinated with their friends. We're getting more students than we otherwise would. The more people that can access this, the better it'll be for everybody. Get it. Get the vaccine. Suffolk County plans to set up more pop-up vaccination sites at schools in the coming weeks. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.